Good day kids, here we are again with another episode of our Agriculture 6, Market Demands for Four-Legged Animal Fish Products and Byproducts. I am your teacher James Abeo, and I hope you would listen attentively with the discussion I have prepared for you. So sit back and enjoy learning. Agriculture 6, Market Demands for Four-Legged Animal Fish Products and Byproducts. The Philippines Livestock and fishery production expanded rapidly during the past decade because of increasing demand for quality and safe food products, while outputs of caribou, beef, chevin, and fishery products rose steadily. Figure 1 shows the volume of livestock in our country. We can notice that the production of cattle, hog, and goat continuously increasing from year 2000 up to 2012. Livestock production is a major component of the agricultural economy of the Philippines, and its economic contribution goes well beyond direct food production. Sales of livestock and their products provide direct cash income to farmers. Livestock are considered a walking bank for many farmers and have a critical role in the agricultural strengthening process. Pork remains a popular livestock commodity recognized as Filipinos' most preferred animal meat product. Over the past decade, Pork has consistently represented more than 55% of the total daily animal meat consumption of Filipinos. According to the 2006 Census of Philippine Business and Industry, January 2009 preliminary data release, pig farming is the second largest commercial agri-food industry in the Philippines, after the banana industry. Figure 2 shows that there is a decrease in the production of freshwater aquaculture starting year 2007 up to 2012, Filipino accounting for around 41% of animal protein intake, but despite a high demand for fish products in the Philippines and extensive aquatic resources, fish is becoming increasingly unaffordable for the country's poor due to decreasing stocks and increased costs of production. The fishing industry in the Philippines is also vulnerable to the effects of climate change, rising sea levels, increasing water temperatures, and changing water. There are two materials we can get from the body of a four-legged animal fish. They are called products and byproducts. Products refers to the materials from the body of the four-legged animal's fish that have not undergone any process like fat, meat, skin, organs, bloods, milk, eggs, hair bones and hooves. Byproducts are materials derived from a production process, manufacturing process, or chemical reaction like soap, canned goods, crayons, omega fish oil, string instruments and many more. The food industry is only one of the business sectors that use four-legged animal fish products. Because of their low cost and versatility, manufacturers incorporate these ingredients in everything from soap and sausage to cosmetics and the like. Below are the materials classified as products derived from the body of four-legged animal fish. Below are the goods classified as byproducts derived from the body of four-legged animal fish.
Remember, there is a high demand for four-legged animals fish in our country because Filipinos prefer to eat meat like pork, chevin, beef and fish. Due to high demand of four-legged animals fish products and by products, families are encouraged to venture in animal and fish farming industry. Don't forget to subscribe, James Abeo, for more educational videos. Till the next upload. Thank you.